Hello and welcome to Enigma Go um, and Enigma Web training video. Um, this video today will take you through how to program and how to read back using the Enigma, Enigma Go app. And then we'll go through on Enigma Web how we can look at the data, analyze the data, correlate, and do some other, other options as well. So if we start off with programming, to get the app, it will be on the Android Play Store, so on the Google Play Store. All you need to do is just hit the hit the Play Store icon, type in Enigma Go, do the top one there with the Avara logo, download it, um, and then when you go into the app itself, you'll be presented with the first screen, which will be the deployments. So any programs, loggers that you have, all your deployments will be on this page. So all we're going to focus on today is to create a new deployment and talk you through how we go. So when we hit the deployment button at the bottom right in yellow, it will give you two options. It could be create a new deployment or it could be read back from existing. Um, read back from existing it could be that you're working with a colleague um, and he's had an issue with his device, he's had an issue with his phone, with his tablet, anything could have happened. So all you can do is you could attach the Enigma Classic, Enigma High Q box using the cable and a USB-C adapter, plug it into your tablet or your phone, and you could read back from his existing uh, deployment. But today we're just going to go through how to set up and create new deployments. So the next screen, when we tap create new deployment, will give you your short description, the group, and what mode that you want to select your loggers for. So the short description, uh, for example, could be the street name that you're working on. It could be a point of interest that you're working on. Um, it could be a range, but just give it a short description of, of where you are, what you're working on. So for this video, for example, I think I'm just put the test enigma in. And then the next option is your group. So your group would be the DMA that you are working in. Um, so say, for example, I was working in DMA1, I will type that in. So when all my data gets uploaded from the app, it will go directly into DMA1. On here as well, you can see production. From a few tests and in the past, I've the, the app automatically saves any previous groups on there for you. So if I've been working, I'm doing more testing in production, it will, it will know that and I can select it from a drop down and it will save the different groups, the different DMAs that you're working as a drop down. So if you do need to go back consistently to a particular DMA, when you upload and you select that group, it will constantly go into the same group for you. You don't have to type it out. The same for this one again. I think I just type in test enigma. Perfect. So the next option you've either got is your normal login, which is where your loggers will listen between two, three, and four in the morning. Those will be your recorded epochs. Or you can select a delayed mode, which you can select a, a, a time frame in which you want to delay the loggers from listening. So if you're working on a stretch of road and you needed four loggers to be put out, and you're running it during the day, or subsequently, if you are working at night and you want to run it during night, you could select a delay for 30 minutes. You could set your intervals for every five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, however, however you want to, to work it, basically. But for this example, it's kind of like a, a maintenance test to see if your loggers are working. I've set a delay mode at two minutes and an interval of two minutes. And then just below that, it will show you one, two, and three epochs what time they will listen um, and then it will start its it will start its listening from those particular times once you programmed so if you're happy with everything that you've selected there's a yellow button in the middle called program loggers the next page it will prompt you to connect your your cable for your enigma case box but you will need a usb c adapter in order to use it on a tablet or an android tablet Once you've done that and you're happy, press OK. Next part will be continue. And from here, it will program the log. It will ask you for the loggers which you've got listed in your case. So just double check to make sure what you have in your case 
is what's reading on the on the on the app. Um, it will give you the case battery as well to let you know what red, amber, green, green being good, amber being okay, red being low, um, and then your case serial number as well. And then also a list of loggers that you've got with those individual serial numbers. If you're happy with that, hit continue. And it will program the four loggers for you. Loggers programmed successfully. Perfect. Next thing we do is we hit this yellow button called go, go to deployment. And it will pull up this page, very similar to the program one. But at the top here, we can see we've got our short description, test enigma uh, group, which is test enigma again. Um, it's got our reading recording time set. But what we now need to do is we need to set the GPS locations for when we do um, when we do need to update up, upload the data from the app to the cloud. So all we do is we tap logger locations, just the bar. It'll pull up a little pencil with a with a map. All we do is we press the pencil at the top right. And we'll get the four loggers that we programmed. So zero, zero G1, two, three, and four. And all we do to deploy it is select the one that you'd like. So zero G1, it will pull it up onto a map for you. From here, you can use the yellow button down there called um, GPS deployment, or use my, use my GPS, and it will deploy it where you're stood. Or you can manually deploy them if you, if you choose to as well. So for this instance, I'm just going to move them around and manually deploy them. So 0G1 done. Next one, I'm just going to move it around, select a location. And again, this is just for test purposes. But you can do this in the field. You can either stand there over the fitting, use my location, or you can manually do it. It's up to you. But with each deployment, it will give you coordinates and it will give you an address as well so on this page you can see 0g1 0g2 3 and 4 they've got an address of where they are they've got a postcode and they've also got coordinates in case you're not sure where you put them from the day before if you're happy with that click back and it will go to the location page to show you where you've deployed them and if you go back again, it will take you back to your deployment details. So in order to upload any data from the app to the website, you need to have your short description and your group name. You need to have your loggers deployed and you need audio files and the decibel readings from the loggers themselves. So that is how we program. So the next video I'll show you will be how to read back. So we've gone through short description, how to program, how to, how to set a delayed, short description, group, GPS style loggers, everything's there. So the loggers have listened overnight, we've gone to collect them, we've put them in our case, and it's now a case of we need to read back. So big yellow bar in the front, read back from loggers. Again, it'll prompt you to say, are these the correct loggers that you have? Double check in your case, is it 0G1, 2, 3, and 4? If it is, brilliant. Close your case lid down, hit continue, and then it'll go through the process of reading back each epoch from each logger from 1 to 4 and epoch logs from 1 to 3. So if we skip through the video just slightly, we can see it's going up. Reading two of four, reading three of four, and so forth until we get to near the finish. Perfect. So once you're happy with your, once it's got all the data for you, you'll get this screen saying read back successful. If there was an error in, in the process at all, you'll get a big red cross and it'll ask you to go back, maybe look at something. Perfect, to so go to the next page, go to the deployment page. Again, we've got green ticks running down the app now. So we've got our short description, we've got our group or DMA, um, we've got our logger location set via GPS, we've retrieved all our data from the loggers. 
all we need now need to do is upload that data. And in this video, I'm just going to go back to the settings um, and show you where where I need to sign out because I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to log out from my normal technician account. So now when I go back to my deployment, which is on this page, I select, I now go to upload data. It's going to prompt me for a username and a password. Now all you'll need is your just your normal login that's been set up by Avaro and the password that was created for you guys, or if you've changed your password, you need this username and the password that you've created. Make note that the username and password that you use on the app is exactly the same for the one that you'll use on Atrium when you log in to, to view your data. So I'm just going to pop some details in. And then once it's happy, it will say prepare and log a data. So if you put your username and password in correctly, it will come to this page. If not, there'll be a, a, a problem bar at the bottom saying username not correct, password not correct. You need to go back and, and do it again. So it'll prepare the login data. And then from here, it'll go from zero to 100%. This was done on Wi-Fi. So just bear in mind that when you're out in the field, if you've got poor signal, it might take longer for the deployment to go from zero to 100. Or if you've got no signal, find somewhere that you will have some decent signal and upload the data from there. Perfect. So running through the page again, we've got test enigma as our short description. We've got test enigma as our group. So short description and group. Your short description could be your POI, could be the street that you're working on, and then the DMA could be in your group. So make notes of that as you go through. You've got your logger, logger locations all GPS deployed. You've read back your data. You've managed to upload it successfully to Enigma Web.